In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to install progressive web apps with Microsoft Edge. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. As you can see, I will be installing Twitter, Telegram and Spotify. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to install the progressive web apps. And it works by creating a JSON object and then placing that JSON object in Windows registry. And for that JSON object, we need to provide an array of applications that we want to install. As you can see, this one is for Twitter. And here we need to provide the information if we want a desktop shortcut, what is the default launcher, and then URL for the application itself. And after the JSON object is created, we are placing that JSON object in Windows registry as registry entry. Anyways, now I will click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet. And then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows virtual machine. And if I open Microsoft Edge now, you can see that nothing is happening. And now I will open my terminal application. I will run it as administrator. And I will insert the PowerShell snippet from the GitHub page. I will press enter. And it seems that it was executed successfully. Now for the settings to apply, we need to relaunch Edge. So if I close it and reopen it, now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, all the progressive web apps appeared on the desktop right here. And that's basically it for installing progressive web apps with Microsoft Edge and PowerShell. Also, if you want to remove the progressive web apps that were installed, you would need to go to registry and remove the registry entry. So now let's try it and do that. And for that, I will open my terminal application. Here I will type regedit and that opens up the registry editor. Here I will go to local machine, software, policies, Microsoft and Edge. And here we have the registry entry that was created by the PowerShell snippet. If I click on it, here we can see the JSON object. Now I will right click on it and delete the entry. And for the settings to apply once again, we need to relaunch Edge. So I will close it and reopen it. And as you can see, the applications disappeared. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.